you may not have realized this, but there's a chance Google's burning your website on Twitter right now. Uh, when John Mueller from Google was asked about um, why content that was being crawled was not being indexed or showing up in search and asked about whether or not they should force index the content, here's what he had to say. If your site relies on manual index submission for normal content, you need to significantly improve your site. Search Console does not fix your site. You need to do that yourself. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So in this video, you're gonna walk away with two different things. First of all, you're gonna understand the nerd burn. If you didn't understand what was just said by nerds about your website indexing, you'll understand why that was a burn. And number two, what you'll understand in this video is exactly what to do to make sure your site is found by Google, crawled, make sure it's indexed, and that you're ranking for the things that you want to be ranking for. We're gonna go through the specifics of exactly how to do this. This is a very procedure-driven uh, video. Exactly, so first things first, when you create brand new content on a brand new website, nobody, not even Google, knows it exists. However, Google is using a lot of tools to constantly crawl the internet. If you've connected Google Analytics, they know your website exists. Okay, kick them out. <laughs> Let's go back to Ricky's part. We kick them out. <laughs> He's gone psycho. Yeah. As soon as we give him attention, he just... <laughs> However, Google has numerous tools that they're using to identify new websites. They have um, their robots that are constantly crawling the internet. That's kind of a scary image, robots it is crawling. We will find you. Yes, <laughs> crawling the internet. I mean, if you've connected Google Analytics to your website, they know it exists, right? If you've connected Google Search Console, if you're using an Android device to look at your website, if you're Chrome using browser. Google Chrome browser to look at your website, Google obviously knows it exists. And they are out there crawling all the content on the internet. And so they will find it. Um, there's not some special thing needed to be done to get Google to find your internet, your website on the internet. However, a lot of people feel like there's no way that can be true. And that's exactly where this tweet came into play. Yeah. People are having problems right now getting their content indexed by Google. And so what they're concerned about is that it's not being found or yes. crawled at all. Google is gonna find your, your content. The way that you can check to make sure that your content has been crawled is by going into Google Search Console and you'll there's a URL report and you URL can just inspection tool. type in the, the URL and it's going to show you a green check mark and say this has been crawled, it was crawled on this date and some technical information about it. And so you'll know immediately if it happens. If your site is existing and you're updating it frequently, you may find that your site is getting crawled within hours of when you release a piece of content. If your site is brand new, it may take a few weeks. Don't worry about it. It's okay, it will find it, and it will crawl it. Now, if for some reason you found uh, an X there that it's not being crawled, then you could manually submit it, but like the tweet says, it's a sign that something may not be going well. <laughs> exactly. Now, um, if your content hasn't been crawled yet, it's worth going into your WordPress dashboard and clicking on settings and making sure the little box is not checked that says discourage search engines from indexing your site. Like, Double negative there. Yes. <laughs> you want no check mark. No check mark. <laughs> you do not want to discourage them from indexing your website, obviously. Um, if you want it to search, to show up in Google search. And yeah, so it was on my shampoo bottle this morning. A this double is negative. random. <laughs> it says, yes, not tested on animals. And I thought, <laughs> what does it mean? <laughs> That's that box every time. Why did they say discourage search? Yeah. It was, anyway, I hate that check bars. Make sure there's no check. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So make sure there's no check there and then just make sure your content's being crawled. If you have a brand new website, Give it a couple of weeks. It's okay if it takes that long, that's perfectly normal. Next is, is your content being indexed? Not the so same Google thing. found it, is it wanting to even give it the chance of ranking? So when Google first finds your website and crawls it, it's going to do, it's going to initiate the process of a stepped ranking. Google uh, sent a patent out about this, filed for a patent um, about a year ago, uh, where they're showing that as soon as they find the content, they're running some tests to get an, an initial ranking to see where it should rank, what category do we put this site in, et cetera. 
and then it will start doing more user testing, which is why it takes more time to, this, to see how you rank in the, in the actual searches. So um, is your content being indexed? The way to find this out is to just do a site colon and your domain name, and then you'll see all of the pages that are actually indexed. Just go into a browser and go into the Google search bar, site colon, your domain name, hit enter, and it will list in the search results, all of the content that's been indexed on your website. Another thing you can do is just grab four sentences, the first four sentences of the post and just put that in a search and it's gonna show you right there. If it, if it doesn't pop up even with four sentences of an exact <laughs> quote of your site, then it's, it's not good. So if you have content that when you go check in Search Console, it says it's been crawled, but when you do these, you find that it's not being indexed, that's an indication that there's an issue with the content itself. Um, the content does not meet Google's quality standards and guidelines to the point that they don't even believe, or at least their computers don't believe, that it should even get a shot at showing up in the Google search results. And that's a problem that no amount of like SEO trickery is going to fix for you. This is a problem with the content itself and you need to reevaluate the content as well as like the topic of the content, whether or not it's even a relevant search. So don't spaz out about this. Spaz out, nobody says that anymore. Yeah. Um, in the first month or two right. of your site, um, it's okay and it's all right if it takes a little bit of time, but if your site is six months old and we're having this problem, this is a sign of a much deeper issue with the content. So this is the question that you just have to ask yourself and there's no silver bullet or anything else that can get around it. Is your content actually better than what's appearing in the Google search results right now? If not, then why is Google gonna waste its time on it? Now you understand the sick burn, the nerd burn. <laughs> um, this is what he's saying, is saying, if you feel like you have to go manually submit each URL every time, it's because we just hate your site and we're not <laughs> going to spend crawl budget on that site. Isn't that, yeah, Take that, that. that's why both of us, when we read that tweet, are like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the third situation you may find yourself in is that you know, you've done both of these checks and your content is showing up, like it's being indexed, but it's nowhere to be found in an actual search result. You go search the primary search term that you should rank for and you're nowhere in the first several pages of Google. That's a third and separate issue. That's really what the rest of this channel is all about, is creating content that's highly relevant and high quality so that it meets the needs of the user. And if you do that, you're going to start ranking well on Google. This is where it gets much more qualitative. Yes. So go Google Search Console and this more technical stuff, I log in maybe twice a year. Yeah. Um, there is some cool data, data in Search Console, like your impressions and stuff. I rarely check it. Um, because most of the stuff in there, like you're gonna get an email if there's a manual action or a crawl error or something like that that we need to check on. Um, but I, I just spot check it every once in a while because if you're using a good theme, hint, Akabato is built for search. Um, these, if you have a good theme, you haven't done anything goofy with your SEO and you're just writing solid content, you just don't even need to worry about this. I just know it's going to be found. I just yeah. don't need to concern myself. But this part, the actual rankings, this is where it's a lot, lot, lot more qualitative. And so for this, we use a tool called Manage WP. It costs a buck a month and you can type up to 100 primary search phrases and what URL you're trying to use to target that search phrase, a blog post that answers that question, and it will just check. Um, once a week on Sundays, it, it runs everything. And then usually Sunday night or Monday morning, it will have the report for that week. And it's just gonna say you rank number whatever for somebody who searches this primary search phrase. And that's really useful because then I don't have to Google 100 things to see how all of my blog posts right. are doing. It's just nice to have a good report just to see am I generally moving up in the rankings. And that's the beauty of it is you it stores that data for you. So if you're using that tool, you can look at how you're doing over time and that way you can get good feedback on things that I did. Did that help improve my rankings? Mm -hmm. This whole process is not an overnight process. Most people out there are looking for a silver bullet that's going to allow them to 
crack the Google algorithm and rank number one tomorrow. Aha, just put your URL here <laughs> and you will shoot up. Yeah, you just put in this meta tag here and do these other things over here. Your SEO plugins are doing very, very little for you. They're not causing your site to get crawled faster, indexed faster, or rank better. It's the content itself that's going to allow you to do really well in the indexing and in the search rankings part. And the crawling part, as long as you haven't done something really weird with your website, if you've just structured your website like a normal WordPress blog, Google is going to have no problem crawling your website. So very little of this is stuff that you really need to worry about. And that way you can focus on the content, which is what we do. That's why it's so important to follow a proven step-by-step -step process to get this done. Because many are the ways that you can screw up a website. And many are the people who will tell you information that will actually just screw up your website. And so go check out our webinar where we're going to explain the process of just SEO in 2020. And this is exactly what we do. We're going to walk you through that process of the important steps you need to take to get crawled, indexed, and rank well.